In this video, we're going to discuss inventory scraps. Inventory scraps are used in inventory as well as manufacturing. Just as we've seen in inventory adjustments, if we go to configurations and we look at our locations and we remove our filter at the top of our screen to view all locations, we'll see our inventory loss location here for our scrap. Now, because this is a type inventory loss, we have the opportunity to set these stock valuation accounts. And this is going to dictate where the difference of scrap material, the cost of that scrap goes and where it comes out of. Now by default, it's going to, if we scrap inventory, it's gonna come of course out of our stock valuation account for that product category. And it needs to go into another account. Here we're gonna set this account as our cost of revenue account or cost of goods sold. This can be a different account depending on how you structure your business. For simplicity, we're gonna use our cost of goods sold. And the reason why is simple. Based on the products that we make, there is a certain percent of margin that will probably scrap, and we're gonna to have to move that into cost of goods sold because that is the cost of doing business. So maybe we use, on average, you know, five units of some raw material to make a product, and the sixth unit is typically scrap. Well, that is a cost of doing business, and we might put that in a cost of goods sold account. However, this might be in a different expense account. That is totally up to you. So there's two ways that we can scrap products. We can go to operations scrap, or it can happen during the manufacturing process. But they end up with the same result. So let's just go into operation scrap here. And we're gonna create a new scrap order. We're gonna select a product. So let's go ahead and choose this average cost product. And before we do anything else, let's just look at the average cost of that product. It's $40. So now here in this, we can scrap one unit. We have the source location of the product and the scrap location. The reason why this scrap location is important is this is where that we have set that account. So depending on if you wanna have different scrap locations for different types of scraps and have that end up in different uh, GL accounts, you can have multiple different scrap locations. We can set some other options here like the source document for this scrap if you have any reference material. And then if we wanna replenish the quantity, um, this is particularly interesting for manufacturing when we, let's say we're going through the manufacturing process and we need five of a unit. We've picked five of the units already, but the fifth one has gotten damaged. Well, we still need to finish that manufacturing process. So we might want to replenish it. We don't need to worry about that now. So here we're just going to validate this document and we're gonna look at the journal entries that get created based on this adjustment. We have our product moves. If we click on product moves here, we see that a new scrap order was created. It moved product to average cost from our warehouse stock to our virtual location, which is a scrapped unit. And that's just going to bring us to a reference document. But what I wanna do is go into accounting here and I'm gonna go into our reports and actually let's go into our journal entries and we'll look at this scrap journal entry that was created in our inventory evaluation journal. And this was handled automatically by the system based on our average, or rather based on our automated inventory valuation. Just like we mentioned in our inventory adjustments video, if you were doing manual inventory, this would not matter. You would have the value of your scrap and you will be able to look at it, but you would need to make a manual journal entry to account for that. Here, the system handles it automatically, so we need to ensure that we set the proper accounts. So here we have our cost of goods sold account being debited to increase our cost of goods sold and our stock valuation account being credited to decrease our stock valuation. So this should reflect in real time on our profit and loss statement and balance sheet. So if we go to our profit and loss statement here and we look at our cost of goods sold, that has increased by 40 unit or $40. And we look at our general ledger, we'll see that adjustment here uh, was just added. And we see the communication line showcasing exactly how that entered our cost of goods sold so that we can further report on it or uh, just for our reference purposes. And the same thing is true inside of our balance sheet, where if we go to our balance sheet and look at our stock valuation automated here, and we go to our general ledger and we scroll down, we'll see this scrap order created or this process for scrapping for average cost and credited for $40. So everything was accounted for automatically. The only thing you need to do and make sure is that you set the appropriate accounts on your location for scraps.